Metronic just announced a global partnership with Abbott to create a custom version of the Freestyle Libre, which will work with Metronic pumps and pants. That's right. Libre working with Metronic pumps. We, we, we both never saw that one coming. So in this video, I will break down exactly what they announced, what I think about it, and a few important caveats that I think you should know. Abbott will make a special version of the Libre sensor just for Metronic. Currently, Omnipod 5, T-Slim X2, both work with Libre Plus sensors, and he also works with the regular Libre line. Metronic is going in a different direction and they'll have a special Libre which is sold exclusively by Metronic. And as Tim pointed out in his great blog, which I'll link in the description, it probably won't even be called Freestyle Libre because it'll be made just for Metronic and sold by Metronic, not by Abbott. Now they continue in the Simplera CGM, so this will be in tandem to Simplera. You know, what's another name we could use? Uh, clarify, simplify, clear, whatever they want to call it, but it will be a secondary CGM, so you have choice between Simplera and this new Libre sensor. Metronic is using Freestyle Libre 3 technology, which means this brand new CGM will look just like Libre 3, with one hour warm-up time, 14 to 15 day wear time, and no calibration required. And Metronic was clear that they continue to work on their own Simplera CGM, 800 pump series, and even patch pump. This will simply be an addition to the Simplera CGM, which by the way, I have very recently reviewed. You can watch my review and unboxing up here to learn more about Simplera. Also, it hasn't been confirmed whether existing 780G users will be able to do a software upgrade. The same 780G users that are still waiting for the software update to update to the Simplera. New 780G pumps have the upgraded software, so they work with Simplera, but people who are already on a 780G still can get Simplera because the software update hasn't worked quite well. Personally, I am really not expecting any actual product announcements related to this for at least 12 to 18 months. I, like, I just wanted to be very, very clear to everyone watching you will not see Libre working with Metronic like next month. If you're watching this video thinking, why are they doing this? Like it's a, a very, very simple actually. Like undeniably, Abbott is the leader in glucose monitoring and Metronic undoubtedly is a leader in insulin delivery. Like it's kind of simple. And this is what we want. This is great. I fully endorse this. I think this is fantastic news. No brainer. I never really saw it coming. So many people use the Libre. It's just been an undeniable success. And, you know, people really enjoy Metronic pumps. And they don't like the CGM. So, like, it's kind of simple. So I think this is great news. I can't wait to see how this plays out. I do have two areas that I think are really worth paying attention to. The first one is to do with commitment. And the second is to do with pricing. On commitment, I have personally been doing YouTube for seven years. I know I still have a baby face, but I've actually been around for quite a long period of time. And it does feel like I've made a similar video to this in the past. Metronic Pump and Dexcom working together. What? In 2019, Metronic announced a partnership with Type Loop. And I praised them a lot at the time. The idea was that you could connect a Metronic pump with something like a Dexcom CGM. It's 2024 today, and you know, those of you who've been around for long enough know that they canceled the partnership and pulled out of it and decided to focus on their closed ecosystem around 780G. So they have a new leadership, and I believe the current leadership is a lot more committed to interoperability than the old leadership. So I wish them well. We use these devices for our lifetime. So I think it is really fair to recognize that this has happened historically, seeing how quickly, 
how soon we start getting updates about how this ball is rolling because I think um, this will tell us a lot about commitment of both parties to this partnership. So that's something to keep an eye on. And the second one is to do with pricing. How much is this new CGM actually going to cost? Most of you probably don't know this about me, but I'm actually a senior finance analyst. I'm, I'm a chartered global management accountant. That's my actual day job. Historically, Libre has been much cheaper than Dexcom CGM or Medtronic CGM. Other pump players, Yupsomed, Tandem, and Omnipod, because they work with you know the existing Libre's, whether that's the regular Libre's or Libre Plus sensors, they priced in the same price range as because they Libre's. They just regular out of the box Libre's. They can get on the web shop or uh, through your pharmacy. This custom Libre that's just made for Medtronic, we don't know what it's going to cost. And if all they're going to do is put a Medtronic logo on it, then I, I can't understand how they can justify charging Simplera level pricing for just a rebranded Libre um, to people living with diabetes. Um, so I think it's going to be really interesting to see what kind of pricing model they opt in for it. Um, just want to um, keep an eye. And there we have it. Metronic working with Libre. This actually, this is not it. Just for dramatic YouTube work. This is my old 640G that I used to use back in the day, my first insulin pump. My old Libre 2 that I also used to use which is my second CGM after Libre 1 and a uh, 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 Simplera that I recently reviewed. In case you were wondering what these three products look like when I hold them, this is content that I'm sure you would like. <laughs> so let me know what you think about this uh, news in the comments. Are you excited? Uh, did you see it coming? And if you have any questions, let me know and I will try my best to answer them. Thank you so much. Be kind to one another. And goodbye.